Tenno and got an interesting case uh, today of a patient with left-sided uh, base of skull pain and the back of her uh, head feels very raw, almost bruised all the time. She can't lay it down on a pillow, for example. So uh, this is the sagittal MRI view. This is uh, the patient's axial. Um, we do see some fluid in the uh, bursa in the ADI here, the atlantodental interspace or interval. We do see some scattered fluid here. But what gets super interesting is that there's a lot of fluid in or effusion in the left C1-C2 facet joint. And in particular, as we go across here, um, we see some interesting things. And one is that this is the 1-2 C1-C2 facet joint. The white stuff is the fluid. That's more fluid than we see on the other side. Uh, this is the left side where she's got symptoms. So the C1-C2 facet joint generate symptoms as shown on the screen, kind of at the back of the skull there. Uh, but more interesting is that you can actually see um, the fluid and then the back of the C1-C2 facet capsule here. And what's interesting there is that we also see that uh, this circle right here is the C2 dorsal root ganglion. And uh, the fluid is actually causing the joint to push out and the joint capsule is sort of around and getting pushed around the C2 dorsal root ganglion. Now the C2 dorsal root ganglion goes as shown on the screen to the back of the head on the left. So uh, that would beat up the C2 dorsal root ganglion and then that would ultimately cause the back of the head to feel bruised because that, that's where that C2 nerve um, goes to, or that's the part of the skin that it supplies. Um, so if we then have to ask ourselves what's going on at C1, C2, you can see her DMX on the screen right now. That shows significant instability at C1, C2 and side to side uh, lateral bending. And we can certainly see that there's instability at C1, C2. So that would explain very nicely what's happening um, with the C1-C2 joint. Instability means effusion, meaning swelling in the joint. The swelling of the joint puts pressure on the nerve. She gets the issues that go up into the left side of the back of her head, and things go from there. So the way to treat this patient, obviously, is to stabilize the C1-C2 with that PICL procedure um, and another Another component of that is going to be treating directly that C1-C2 joint and possibly that C2 dorsal root ganglion. Um, so interesting case. We don't normally see this much swelling in the 1-2 joint. We certainly don't see it pushing against the C2 dorsal root ganglion, but it explains all of her symptoms nicely. Uh, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this content out to more patients. Like, share, subscribe, comment.